DMP has been a game changer for my growth. This experience has truly elevated my capabilities and career potential. Code for GovTech or C4GT is an ecosystem initiative that aims to catalyze open source communities around digital public goods for sustainable DPI implementation. Mustafa is one of the 103 contributors who took part in the dedicated mentoring program organized by Code for GovTech this year. The program pairs contributors with mentors from organizations building DPGs and open source tech for good products. They then work on population scale technology challenges defined by the organizations over a period of three months. Participating organizations have grown year on year with four organizations listing 13 projects across eight products in our pilot year in 2022, 21 organizations listing 103 projects across 38 products in 2023, and 42 organizations listing 103 projects across 70 products this year. We received 2,634 applications from contributors across 646 colleges and 132 private organizations. 103 contributors were finally selected to work on the projects. We have also introduced 11 projects on product usability, focused on in-depth user research and user-centered design for large-scale technology platforms. To support organizations with low mentoring bandwidth, we introduce a cohort of angel mentors who are experienced professionals willing to support the organizations as volunteers. The program kicked off with an inauguration ceremony that energized contributors as they began their journey. This was followed by a bootcamp designed to upskill them for the challenges ahead. At the midpoint and the end of the coding period, we held demos with 30 industry leaders who provided their feedback to the contributors on their work. The closing ceremony was a celebration of the program's success, emphasizing the importance of contributors evolving into maintainers for their projects and continuing their roles as innovators within the DPG ecosystem. Let's hear from some of our contributors and mentors about their experience. All digital interventions of Avanti paid live classes or quizzes or plyos are packaged in objects called sessions. So, Drish has been building a tool called Session Creator, which is now widely used by our operations and curriculum team to create these sessions. Uh, we have piloted the tool in a staggering manner uh, and we have been able to create approximately 200 sessions in the past two months. Um, and these sessions have reached approximately 20k students so far. We would be able to touch 60k students in, in quite short time. Currently in the government schools, there is a lot of time taken for making attendance by teachers. Uh, so my mentee, uh, Tilak, have developed a facial recognition attendance system, which will cut down the time required for teacher to mark attendance. Snail is working on a project to cluster large amounts of videos and uh, uh, this will be used by fact checkers and research researchers combating misinformation and deep fix. So if we look at the work Dipan's been doing, it's great. He's been updating the user interface um, for our PHE engine and that enables admins to do work a lot easier, um, but it also enables end users to start being able to update their data themselves, such as their account, bank details, etc., without needing to get in touch with maybe a, a government agency um, or a bank account. So it's great work, it's really patching lots of users. My core contributions will help teachers in the Uttar Pradesh to assess the foundational uh, literacy and numeracy through the Nepal Lecture app, uh, even in the cases where there is no internet. Uh, this will be possible because I built a miniaturized speech recognition model. As part of DMP, I developed the voice functionality for Ask a Question, a free open source tool empowering non-profits and governments in developing nations. It uses advanced AI technology to answer citizen inquiries in their languages. My work will be featured at Google San Francisco headquarters. This experience has fueled my motivation and shaped my vision for future contributions to the open source tech community. Any Mozilla Loop developer who needs to know about vulnerabilities, software dependencies, expiring licenses and published details in any of the 150 plus repositories that Mozilla Loop has can use my code. Uh, this will allow Mozilla Loop to know which of their services uh, rely on libraries that are unsafe to use. The project was to understand the user's need 
in Haryana in terms of you know what is missing for them in terms of public transport. My main motto here was to understand the pain points, the frustrations, and everything. And I think I've gotten a good gist of what all problems that you know are already existing in that I could cover. So we have almost built a solution on that, and I think that solution could help them in their daily lives, especially for the regular commuters and people who live in the rural path. This year, the dedicated mentoring program was bigger than ever. With 42 orgs from domains spanning from healthcare to agriculture to accessibility to benefit delivery and so on, we are extremely grateful to everyone who made this possible. The program saw 1,400 hours of mentoring, 25,000 hours of coding, 90 production-ready complete projects, and over 60 contributors selected to continue as maintainers of their project. Uh, I think it was not just the educational and technical impact, but also the ecosystem impact and a wider adoption impact that we were able to have over the course of three months. Kudos to our contributors who were selected from 2,634 applications. Their contributions over the last three months will impact countless lives. This is just a small beginning. We wish all the contributors the very best and we are excited to see how their DPG contribution journey pans out. We look forward to seeing the lasting impact they will create in the DPG community. The dedicated mentoring program is one of the multiple initiatives under C4GT that aims to support contributors in kickstarting their DPG contributions. Beyond this, the contributor community in C4GT is more than 20,000 members strong who work on projects listed by the organizations on an ongoing basis as part of the Open Community Program. C4GT also has a presence in 30 campuses as part of our Campus Leaders Program. With these initiatives, C4GT aims to catalyze an active open source community around DPGs to enable and support with their long-term sustainability. If you are an open source enthusiast and want to unlock population scale impact with your contributions, then C4GT is the place for you.